All right, so we have, um, we are going to go through these problems, um, and then you guys have a worksheet. Um, the We are going to do notes of 9.1.3. This is on Schoology I put, so you can print it off or use this as you are um, filling it out as you are watching me. Um, so you have um, this document. And then you have 9.1.4 as homework for tonight. Um, and make sure that you guys are doing the attendance quiz to be marked present for today. Um, for each situation, write an equation and use your graphing calculator to solve. So I have a picture here. It says a 50 by 120 meter park consists of a regular rectangular lawn surrounded by a path of uniform width. Find the width of the path if the area of the path is the same as the area of the lawn. Um, so that means the area of, here let me get a, area of that is the same as the area of the pink. Okay. So what is the current area of the lawn? Well, it's a rectangle. Area of a rectangle is length times width, 50 times 120. So what is that? 700? Or am I 600? 600. hundred meters squared. So, 6,000. Whoops. Forgot the zero. I was thinking times five. What would the total area of the lawn and the path be? Well, if this area is 6,000 and this area is 6,000, together they will be 12,000. So now we need to figure out the, we know the area, but now we need to figure out the dimensions. So this little piece is x, this little piece is x, and this middle piece is 120. So that means x plus 120 plus x, okay? We could also say x plus x is 2x, so 2x plus 50 equals 12,000, okay? So I don't care which way you write it. If you want to combine like terms and only need one, that's fine. So now we need to find x. So how we do that is we are going to go to Desmos. We have parentheses at, let's say, 2x plus 120 and 2x plus 50. And then in our other line, it's going to be 12,000. Well, 12,000 is really far up. Now, if you don't want to just scroll, you could, whoops, I went home. So you can go, so my y value needs to go to, let's say, 15,000. Oh, yeah, so 12,000 there we go, got to have y equals. So here is my answer. So I could scroll out. It is a parabola because that should be x squared. So it should be a parabola. So you can find your um, intersection and it's going to be 15. So that means the width of the path is 15 meters. So here is my answer. So this is going to be in y1, this is going to be in y2. 
is how we are going to do it in our um, calculators. You have to read the problem to see how you set up your equation. So like for this one, the area was the same, so you had to add it 6,000 plus 6,000 to get to 12,000. So in this case, Alina wants to place a border of uniform around uh, uniform width on the bulletin board in her classroom. If the bulletin board measures 42 by 74 inches, Alina wants to have a usable area of, so this area is 2,448 inches squared. What is the widest possible border? So that means that we need to figure out what this width is and this width is because we know that area. So if I know this is 74, I need to go subtract an x and then subtract an x here. So I have 74. I'm going to subtract an x and then I need to subtract another x, which is the same thing as subtracting 2x. So you're going to take your whole length, is 42 on this side, and subtract 2x. And I don't care which way you write it, but you need to have the total, which is 74 and 42 first, and then we are going to subtract. And that's going to equal your area right there. So then I go to my I go to Desmos and I'm going to put 74 minus 2x and 42 minus 2x and 2448. So here is I have three and 55. Well, if I go back and look, so x equals 3 and x equals 55. So if I look, does it make sense that this x is 55 when the whole thing is 42? I can't subtract 55 on both sides. That doesn't make sense. So this one does not make sense. So it's going to be 3 inches is the border. So if you get multiple answers, you have to go back and look at your picture and to see does that make sense. And in this case, that does not make sense. Even 55 and 55 add up to 110. Well, you only have 74 inches, so that does not make sense to be the width of your border. So the only one that makes sense is 3. Okay. So we have one more example and then you get to do a couple on your own. So a farmer has a field of 180 feet by 240 feet. He wants to increase the area of the field by 50% by adding the same amount to the length and width of the field. So what is the current area of the field? Well, 180 times 240. 180 times 240, and I get 43,200. So it says he wants to increase the area of the field by 50%. So you need to increase by 50% so you can figure out what the 50% is. So times 0.5, and that you need to add it. So 43,200 plus 21,600. Or you can take your area and multiply it by 1.5. Either way, whichever your brain works, it's going to be 64,800. So now we know this total area of the whole big area, so now I need to figure out what this length is and what this length is. So if I know that this is 240, but I also need 1x, so I need to add one length, so this is going to be 240 plus x, 
And this one is going to be 180 plus x, or x plus 180, either way. And it equals my total area. Okay? So, this x plus 240, or 240 plus x, and this is going to be 180 plus x, or x plus 180, because we can add in any order. So now here, and then 180 plus x, so that's 64,000, so I have to scroll up a little bit, and you can use this little graph settings to change your x and y if you want, or you can just scroll. So here is x is 46.32 feet is my answer. Because the other answer is going to be way over here in negative. Well, negative doesn't make sense. Because we're talking length. So we need it to be positive. Okay? So here's my answer, and that's all you need. You don't need to show any work. You do need to show me this equation. If there's other questions, you need to answer them. But like for this problem, there is no questions. The minimum you need to do is show me the equation that you are putting in your into Desmos, okay? And then the answer, obviously. So that is our new lesson. Uh, you have some more problems to do on your own. Remember to do the attendance quiz in order to be marked present. All right. Thanks, guys. Good luck. See you the next time we have class.